Mm-hmm. You're the same height as me now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the activity that we're doing today is all about groundwater. What's groundwater? Yeah, that's a good question. Groundwater uh, is water that moves through earth materials like gravel, sand, limestone, or clay, um, and can travel through the spaces between those materials. Mm -hmm. And I have a really good example for you today. This is our big example. You don't have to have this at home. This is just for your visual benefit. Um, but we want to show you how water moves through those materials. So we have water in the bottom of each of these cylinders, and we're gonna flip them over. When we do that, the water is going to try to move through the spaces in each of this, these materials. One, two, three, flip. Wow. There we go, you can see the water moving through the gravel, the sand, the limestone, and well, it's not really moving through the clay, right? Why is that? Uh, the clay is so tightly packed um, that water cannot actually move through it really mm. quickly. Mm. Yeah, so it's gonna stay there for a very long time. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try doing this at home, but we're gonna do this by creating a groundwater model. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a moment and move this out of the way. And then... So the first thing that we wanna to do to build our groundwater model at home is to add some sand, sand to your bin. And this is just regular sand that you can get from um, a toy store or home hardware or home depot, but let's use our measuring cups. And we want to fill it's our shiny. bin with shiny. Sand. It is shiny, yeah. So what we're doing here is we're creating our landscape. Uh, I think we need a bit more. Okay. Creating our landscape, we're trying to build an area that our little houses and our community would live on. Um, once you get your sand in, uh, you can ask your helper to move the sand mostly to the one side. Can you um, move the sand over to your can side? that side? Oh, sure. You can do whatever side you like. Yep. There you go. And you want to leave, um, you want to get the sand almost off the bottom on whichever side you're moving it away from because you want to kind of create a big hill in your community. You need some topography. It's always nice to have some, some hills and valleys and topography in your community. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, great. So we've got a nice hill over here. We've got a valley. And then over there, we've got a big depression. The next thing that we want to do is take your paper cup or your Dixie cup and your Sharpie and draw some lines, some circular parallel lines um, in your cup. So I'm gonna start, you might, they don't have to be perfectly straight. See, um, just as long as you have something that your eye can then compare water levels to. There we go. Mine's not perfect either. There we go. So I've got four lines on the inside of my cup just so that I can uh, see different water levels inside later. And then you can ask your assistant to poke some holes in the bottom of your Dixie cup um, and on the side. Um, so Alba, if you want to hold the cup here and then poke some holes in the bottom. What we're doing with this cup is we are creating our own at-home well. Um, and a well is a pipe in the ground that has a screen at the bottom. And that screen at the bottom, which is located in the ground, uh, then lets water come up and into the well. And then if there's a pump at the top of the ground surface, that well pump can then bring the water up from deep in the ground to the surface and then that water can be uh, transported from the well 
to different places in the community. So um, water in our Kitchener Waterloo area travels from the well to a water treatment plant where it's tested to make sure that there's no harmful bacteria or chemicals in it. Um, and then it travels from the water treatment plant to our homes. And we use that water uh, to wash dishes and flush toilets and um, do the laundry, uh, maybe mm -hmm. take a shower. Ah, yes, and if your assistant gets tired, you can continue poking holes in the cup. You want holes. So as you can see, we've got quite a few holes in that cup now. And once you've got that done, and I didn't, I didn't punch holes all the way to the top. I just punched holes kind of to the midway mark um, and in the bottom here. So you can see them in the bottom. So once you have your mini well made, um, you can ask your assistant to take the well and drill it into the sand uh, somewhere kind of in the middle. So, and you kind of want to stay away from the edges, okay. um, but put it into the middle of the sand bin. Yeah, and just rotate it down so that there's about half of the cup um, into the sand and then we'll just try to keep it level and if you want you can build the sand up around your cup um, a little bit more and you know maybe you take some of the sand from the top and push it around your cup so that it holds your cup in place great okay next up is to uh, place your community so grab your little monopoly or houses or whatever you have maybe oops maybe you have some lego um, or maybe you have some Playmobil and you want to put those characters on your uh, hill. What we want to do now is create a rain event. We are going to grab our jug of water and we're going to make it rain on top of the hill. So wherever the sand is highest in your bin, How should I do it? you can make it rain. And play our Yeah, maybe pour it gently so that it doesn't flush all the sand away. But what we're doing is we're like what, what's actually happening, Alba? Where is the water going? Down. It's going down into the? Community and into the well. No. Is it going in the well? Can you see it come up your well yet? No. Not yet, not yet. But where is the water going? It's going down into the lake. Um, yeah, but where is it going right now? Now? Ah, yeah, farm. What's, what's happening to the sand? Flowing through the sand? Ah, it's flowing through the sand. That's right. So just like in our My farm is getting buried. Your farm is getting buried. That's okay. Yeah. Just like in the example that we showed at the beginning, the water is moving through the spaces between the sand grains. But what are some of the things that you see um, that has happened in your groundwater model? Uh, there's been an erosion. There's been a bit of erosion, <laughs> right? So the sand hill has like eroded away. Mm -hmm. A lot of the sand has moved into the lake. Yeah, and you created a lake, didn't you? Mm -hmm. There's this lake over here where the big depression was. Um, and what is happening with your well? What are you seeing? It's filling up. Yeah, that's right. Can I right. drill it deeper? So, well, before you drill it deeper, where is the level of the water? Um, almost at the midway mark. Almost at the midway mark, yeah. So um, you can see that the water level in your cup is almost the same as the water level in the lake. Um, the water level in your well uh, is, is what we call the water table. Mm -hmm. that's, what we, that's what we call it. That's the water yeah. table right there. And that water table, that line that connects the water in the well and the lake, extends through the sand. That's really close to the lake. It is, yeah, your well is really close to the lake. Now, you're welcome to pick up your well and move it, but before you do that, I would like to do one more experiment. Can we do one more experiment? Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like you to use your turkey baster. Mm -hmm. You can do this at home too. Uh, squeeze your turkey baster and then draw the water up from the well mm -hmm. and then take the water from the turkey baster, put it back into your water container. What is happening in the well? Uh, What's happening? It got lower and now it's refilling. Yeah, so the water came out of the well, it's but the then the water from around the well moved into the well again and filled it up. Okay, can you draw more water out of your well? 
I'm seeing the well. Yeah. So what's happening to the lake level when you draw water up? It gets lower. Yeah, it's getting lower. Um, Why does that happen? That's a great question. Well, you are taking water out of your system. So this is your system, this whole bin. Mm -hmm. And if you take water out and you don't replace it, the water is going to go away. Go away. It's going to go lower. That's right. So as you draw water out, it's going to get lower. But if it rains again, if you pour water back in, Can I? will the level drop or will the level rise? Rise. Yes, it will rise. So let's okay. try a little experiment before you do that. Um, let's put some blue dye, and you can do this at home too. Take some blue dye drops and drop mm -hmm. it into your water container. And make it all blue, really blue. Would you like to make it rain again on your community? Okay, go ahead and make it rain. And see where that blue yeah. dyed water is going to go. That's okay. We've got a little erosion that that house is, hopefully it's insured. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. Oh look, the lake is turning blue. Yeah. So you can see kind of the water moving ah. into the sand and running off, some of it's running off over the sand and going into the lake. And then some of it is going through the sand uh -oh. and then into the lake at the bottom. And as you move that water around, it pushes the water in the system. The water in the well is beginning to turn blue too. Oh, that's so neat. I'm going to tip this a little bit so that people at home can okay. see. So you can kind of see some of the blue um, swirls entering our well. Is that like chemicals in water? It could be. So maybe there is an oil spill. We've got, we've got a flood. We have we a flood a happening. I need a help. I need a help. <laughs> I need to relocate. relocate. All right. So I'm going to take our syringe again, and you can do this at home. And you can try to draw that water up out of the well ah. and see what happens with the blue dye. We're going to put it back into our container out of the system. Oh, wow. Can you see all the blue dye that's coming up through the well? That's how you know the water in the well and the water underground. That's a big depression. And the water in the lake are all connected. Oh. All right. So thank you guys very much for joining us for our groundwater model uh, adventure. Oh, you can continue to play with this model at home. As you can see, it's a lot of fun. Um, and you, maybe you can use different colors. <laughs> She got me. Maybe you can use different colors to experiment with where the water is moving, uh, either in the ground or in the well or in your lake. Um, but enjoy having fun with this model at home. All right, we'll see you uh, at the next activity. And the next one is all about, what is the next one about, Elba? Edible aquifers. Edible aquifers. Okay, we'll can see I you in the, later. Can Bye. I play now? Yes, you can play now. Yay. Yeah. <laughs>